This is conditional formatting across two tabs, or in other words, using data from one tab to conditionally format another. We're going to be using the indirect function to create the reference. Here's my basic setup. We're going to start with it on a single sheet, and then I'm going to show it across multiple sheets. So I have these 10 names. I've selected four of them. All I want to do is highlight those four names in column A. Okay? The formula I'm going to use is the match formula. Let me show it here outside of the conditional formatting because in conditional formatting, unfortunately, it doesn't give function help tips. So I'm going to do it here first. So I want to match A1, so that's my search key. My range is C through C. I don't know how many options I'm going to select, so I want the whole column as available. Search type is zero, and this is really important. Search method one finds the largest value less than or equal to search key. That's, what is that, uh, wheel of fortune method? <laughs> um, or price is right, price is right, I think it is. Anyway, zero finds an exact match. Negative one finds the smallest value greater than or equal to. So that would be saying, hey, I have 101, get me the closest thing on top. It's, it's a little confusing. Normally, I would only use one or zero. I've actually never used negative one. But especially when you're dealing with text, it's always zero. You always want the exact match. You never want something close to. So that finds it. Let's just drag it down the whole thing. It can't find Selengeos. It doesn't find Hal Korgra. It does find Oparon Sisis. It does find Jorah Mali. And it does find Elzar Man. Awesome. So now I just need to take this formula and put it into the conditional formatting. Format, conditional formatting. I'm going to use the custom formula. It's the only one that lets us have this kind of setup. And again, equals match A1, C through C, zero. Now, one interesting thing to note here, it highlighted all four of them, even though I only said match A1. That's because conditional formatting is already iterated over the entire range. So because my range is A1 through A10, it sees this A1 and automatically applies the same formula relative as it goes through to A1, A2, A3. It's really cool. So that works great. That's what I want. Awesome. Now, what I want to do, though, is have that same thing work if I put this list over here onto this other tab. So if I go back, the conditional formatting is still there, but obviously there's nothing in column C, so it doesn't work. Let's just go ahead and change this to selected C through C. It actually says that is an invalid formula, right? It doesn't even just not worry, it's just says that it says that is a bad formula. Conditional formatting does not recognize references to other sheets at all. But there's a really simple trick around that because the indirect formula returns a cell reference specified by a string. So in this way, we can get around that. Uh, constraint that conditional formatting has about not referencing other sheets by referencing it through indirect. So if I go selected C through C, or actually I guess over there it's A through A, it's going to return those. And note here that it's a string, right? I didn't pass the range, I passed the string. That is super important. That's what we need to do here. So I'm going to come over here and replace this area. I'm going to replace the range of the match function, match formula, with the indirect. So now my function reads equals match A1, which iterates A1 through A10. The range is indirect selected A through A as a string. And of course, still zero because we're looking for an exact match. 
and that works perfectly. If I take Avar Chris over there, that name gets highlighted. If I take Douglas Sunvale, I can even put this way down here. Still works, right? Because it's referencing it's referencing the entire column through that indirect. And it works great. So that's the only thing to remember. This works on basically any function that you would use in conditional formatting on the same sheet. You can use indirect to reference another sheet to accomplish the exact same thing.